Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's Puppycock. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing com. I am... Fuck it! <clears throat> Don't worry, it's no virus. Just scream myself into a hoarseness and a, a little tickle in the throat, you know? But it stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. All right, guys. So the old saying, right? I doubt kids today are out on the playground saying these things to each other. Um, in fact, um, your words can get you in a lot of trouble. And um, all you've got to do is look at social media and, um, you know, when people use words, either if they misspeak or if they express an opinion, it can get you in a lot of trouble. But I don't want to get off on a tangent about, um, you know, us maybe being a little soft or, or whatever. But the fact is your words do hurt. They carry power with them. And that should be uh, seen as a good thing. Instead of getting defensive um, about expressing yourself, realize the power of your words. So instead of um, taking offense, saying, oh, this generation's weak and all of that stuff, because that's a debatable um, discussion. But um, why don't you, in fact, instead take accountability for your words and understand their power, right? Um, and then the power of saying nothing. You know, that carries a lot of weight as well because um, sometimes, you know, this happens a lot of times when it comes to relationships, you know, like if a woman comes home and she's, you know, talking about her problems, the guy with in a good hearted way, assuming it's good hearted, um, wants to help her to solve the problems. He doesn't want the love of his life to be in pain or to be struggling. So he goes right to work in his brain try and come up with a solution. Um, and a lot of times she'll get mad at him and say, you know, I didn't ask you to solve my problems. I just wanted you to listen. And then guys get frustrated and say, well, why would you tell me if you don't want them solved? Do you like having problems? It's not about that. She wants to be heard. She wants to know that you know how she feels. She's communicating, you know, her feelings and her emotions and her thoughts. And oftentimes she's already got solutions or, you know, something that she wants to do to solve it. Because if she wants your opinion, um, she'll ask you for it. So that'll save you years of trouble and heartache, young men um, that haven't made that mistake yet. But you probably will. Because that's just how we are. That's our brain. That's how we're wired. But we can change that. We can grow. Right? You can do anything you want to do, but you must apply yourself, get the knowledge, and practice it. And sooner or later, you will be a Jedi Master. Or at least a good catch. Okay, so guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, I'm running on empty, a little sleep deprived, a little sleep deprivation. I still got a little ways to go here today, so like, share, subscribe. I hope that helps. And poppycock means nonsense for those of you who are wondering why I swore I did not swear. Okay, guys, take care.